the main thing I think is to sort of have a plan about how you're going to pay for your care. And there's really three ways that you pay for care. You know, when you boil it down, there's only three ways. You got to pick one of the three. Either you pay for it out of your own income or your own assets. You know, so you you either uh, you know use your savings, you use your investments, you cash in an IRA, you you sell a piece of property, um, or if you have income, you have a pension, Social Security, you use that you know to pay for care. So you pay for it yourself. The second way would be have the insurance company pay for it. So you know long-term care insurance, whether it's traditional long-term care or some kind of a hybrid, you know life insurance with a rider, um, and that's always a great way if you know if the family can have the insurance company pay for the care versus having their uh, uh, having using the life savings. That's great. And then the third option then would be government benefits. You know which would open up you know VA benefits, Medicaid benefits. And that's where we can, uh, with good planning, we can kind of set the stage to possibly get that more, you know, down the road. So it's going to be one of those three. And so uh, for different families, one of the three may be better than others. You know, some people may look at the, uh, you know, and say, well, maybe they feel like they're self-insured because they have a good income or they have enough savings that they say, yeah, we can weather this okay, you know. Other people maybe can qualify for the long-term care and they don't mind paying those premiums and other people may want to do some planning to kind of plan ahead to say, okay, let's set the stage so, you know, five or six or eight or ten years down the road we'll be ready to, you know, get some government benefits without having all our assets, you know, be gone first.